What is going on everyone? Foxtrot Productions here and right here in front of me is the Lego January 2021 catalog. Now I apologize for uh, being late to the party. Reason being is because I haven't been home and uh, I've only just now been able to get my hands on the magazine that came in the mail and so here it is. Now you guys have probably already seen it but I figured you know I might as well make a video on it. Try and keep with a semi-consistent uh, schedule of uploading about once a week. It's kind of what I'm going for. Probably not going to be able to do that every week, but it's something that I'm going to, you know, try and go for, try to build my channel back up. But yeah. So here on the cover, it's advertising Lego City um, and the uh, the new skate park which actually doesn't look half bad. Just wish it didn't come with those god-awful road plates. Um, but yeah, it says right here, Lego City, bring their whole city to life. And you can see that, over 75 new sets. So let's open this up. And really, Lego, come on. That's a little upsetting. Also, I apologize for the poor lighting. Um, don't really have anything other than a lamp, which I can't move, unfortunately. So, here we got the town center, set number 60292, $100. Uh, once again, comes with the uh, awful road plates, not a fan of those at all. I'm uh, quite sick of Lego juniorizing everything. Um, I feel like this set without the road plates would probably only be like 50 bucks, maybe 60 or 70, I don't know. Um, also kinda getting sick of constant pizzerias from Lego City, but that's just me. Although I do like the building. I don't know, I'll probably get this set eventually, maybe if it ever goes on sale on Amazon or something. And then, I, I don't know, I just wouldn't have any use for the road plates, but you have to go back to the cover just to see the rest of it. It's got the Octan uh, car wash, which actually isn't too bad. Um, so yeah, and then there's the skate park there, $39.99, with, again, the road plates. Connect the stories with road plates. Um, would be nice if they kept the original ones, along with those, but whatever. You do you, Lego. Okay, so see that connects us all. You'll also find other great city building for all ages and stages with new sets from Lego Duplo, Na Lego Ninjago, and more. Um, I think the only thing Ninjago uh, that's really city building is um, Ninjago City Gardens, which I assume is in this magazine. Um, but I'm very excited about that. I really hope that they uh, keep a consistent um, yearly or perhaps even bi-yearly um, modular Ninjago City because I absolutely love those. I'm so I'm still disappointed I couldn't get Ninjago City and Ninjago City Docks, but I'm definitely gonna get Ninjago City Gardens as soon as I can. Probably not initially because I don't think I can afford to right now and it's coming out fairly soon. So probably the next um run of uh restocks whenever that might be. So I'll just have to keep an eye on that. But um yeah, so here's the new sets. That's not new at all. That's actually been out for, I think, a couple years now. There's the uh, road plates. It'd be really, really nice if my phone would quit refocusing. There we go. So there we go. Sports car. That looks pretty neat. Is my phone still? I have no idea what my phone is doing. Um, nice little artwork kind of thing. Not really sure. Oh, it's labeling the sets, I guess. So, yeah. Uh, oh, do this. There's more of the city sets. That sports car is really cool. I do really like that. Yeah. 
There's the uh, main square. Um, I know there's a lot of like mixed re uh, reactions about this set. And uh, I know the price is definitely one of them. And I agree that it's overpriced, but I do still wanna get the set eventually. Um, I apologize for the screaming. The Ohio State game is currently going on um, in Miami. So that is my mom reacting to it. Um, but yeah, I don't think it's that bad of a set. I just think it's overpriced. But like I said, I definitely want to get it. I know a lot of people were disappointed because this gives the impression that it's a monorail. When it's actually not, it's literally just the background they used. But um, other than that, I don't think it's that bad. It comes with a nice little park area, little burger joint, and a uh, town hall, which we've actually never gotten in LEGO City. The only thing we've gotten was... Um, the modular building, which I missed out on, unfortunately. Then over here, we got one of the Chinese New Year sets. Um, I actually really like this. I just kind of wish it was more complete with this part. Also, the fireworks are really cool. I really like how those are done. And then, of course, I don't know if they have it in this. No, they don't. I'm actually surprised they're not advertising the... Uh, uh, Spring Lantern Festival in this magazine, unless it's later on. Uh, I don't think it would be, though. I think it would be here with the Chinese New Year stuff. But that is a set that I'm really looking forward to. And, of course, you got the pandas. You got Super Mario. I don't know. I guess all of this stuff is new. I don't really pay attention to it because I'm not really into Super Mario. I would really like to know why my phone keeps refocusing when I have it locked. Um, there's the uh, NES. And then Dots. You got the uh, Minecraft, which uh, some of the Minecraft stuff is cool. Um, the Pig House. I hope they do a fox at some point, a giant fox. I don't think they will, though. And of course, Friends. Looking pretty good, this lineup, I will say. I like, I actually like all of these. I just think this, the movie theater is a little bit overpriced. I think maybe it should be 40 bucks instead of 50, but that's just me. But yeah, this line, uh, or uh, this wave of Friends, really looking good. I love the park. I love the, the house. The Organic Cafe, and of course the movie theater. Definitely going to be picking probably all those up. And more sets. This is not new. All of these, well, actually most of these look good. And then we got the uh, Disney. That's actually kind of cute. Got Ninjago, or sorry, uh, Ninjago Legacy. I believe this is all, yeah, Legacy. The Boulder Blaster, X1 Ninja Charger. I have the original one, and uh, this is actually the first time I've seen the new one, and I don't really like it, so I'm definitely going to pass on it. The uh, Tournament of Elements and the Titan Mech Battle. I actually do like how that looks. It reminds me of uh, Pacific Rim. Ah, uh, yes, Ninjago City Gardens. This looks absolutely amazing. It's going to be $299.99 in the U.S. And I know there's more pictures of it out on YouTube. I probably won't make a video of it, though, unfortunately, just because I'm uh, so late to the party that it's probably not worth making a video of now. But yeah, I'm very, very excited for this. I just hope that I'll be able to get my hands on it. And of course the modular buildings. This stuff isn't new. This is though the uh, police station. Um, I don't have any of these, unfortunately. I would love to get my hands on them though. But uh, of course they're sold out because of uh, COVID. Flower bouquet, 
the uh, bonsai tree. I actually really like the bonsai tree. I might actually pick that up at some point and just have it like on display somewhere. Colosseum, don't really care about that. The uh, crocodile locomotive in uh, poo brown. The uh, Ecto-1, the haunted house, which is super cool, but probably won't get my hands on. Ah, uh, yes, Diagon Alley, something I really, really want, something I would love to put in Bricksburg once it gets set up, because I just love all the uh, modular buildings. More Harry Potter stuff. Um, don't really know what, oh, the Hogwarts Crest, and then an advertisement for VIP members. Uh, don't care about Star Wars, but, uh, uh, I'm sure some of you probably do. Although, I think we can all agree that this is one of the worst things that has come out of 2020. That's probably the reason why the year was so bad. I'm joking, of course. Um, more Star Wars. Even more Star Wars. Technic. Do not care about Technic. More Technic. Uh, the minifigures. I feel like they raised the prices on the minifigures. I believe they were $3. Now they are 5 Although this minifigure lineup does look pretty neat. I really like that little uh, airplane costume that he's wearing. And then we got Mindstorms. And then we got some of the ideas. The uh, dinosaur fossils. This kind of look cool. Sesame Street. Looks cool, but uh, I've heard that it's lackluster. And uh, I also don't like how incomplete the buildings are. And the uh, Grand Piano. Do not care about that. Quite honestly, think it's a waste of a set, but that's just me. Got Marvel, and uh, I absolutely love this. I'm eventually gonna get this just for the car. That's all I care about. Um, the uh, mech armors; those actually don't look too bad. I really like the uh, Miles Morales one. I also, re I also just love him as a character, so I'll probably pick that up just for his minifigure. And then the Avengers Tower battle; definitely want to get that to uh, make a mock with. And then Eternals, what the heck is this? Um, okay, I don't really know what to think about that. That all kind of just looks like weird stuff. And then Mickey Mouse. So that's it for the January 2021 Lego catalog. Um, not really anything, well, I guess it's average, but it's all stuff that I've pretty much seen before, except for, like, a few things, but, um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. Also, if we zoom out a little bit, this box here is actually a future video that I'm going to hold off on for a while because it is a Lego haul. But I'm not going to do it yet because I'm going to combine it with another Lego order that hopefully will be coming within the next couple weeks. I don't know when for sure because I've been notified that the things I've ordered are out of stock. Not just on back order, but out of, like, literally out of stock. So when that happens, and as you guys can see, I've already opened this up and I already know what it is. But... When I get that order, I will be doing a mega haul video like my $400 one that I made earlier last year. But until then, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys later. This has been Foxtrot Productions.